And now I'd like to welcome President Hamlin back to the podium to present our final award of the day, the Sheila Culbert Distinguished Employee Service Award. All right, those were inspiring. Congratulations to all the award winners recognized so far. And we do have one more to go, and the, uh, the honor is really all mine. This is the Sheila Colbert Distinguished Employee Service Award. It is our most long-standing staff recognition award. As you may know, the Sheila Colbert Award was established in 2008 by President Emeritus Jim Wright and his wife Susan in honor of a former Dartmouth employee. It recognizes a staff member who has made a difference to Dartmouth and to their colleagues who demonstrates a commitment to the highest work ethic and exemplary work performance, who is both selfless and unwavering in dedication to the institution and is relentless in the, in the pursuit of excellence. This year's Sheila Colbert Award recipient, Richard Whitmore, exemplifies all of those attributes and more. Richard is Deputy Director of Athletics and is considered by his colleagues to be the, the glue that binds the athletics community together. And uh, you know, one thing I would say is that Gail and I, we go to a lot of athletic events, as many as we possibly can. And you know, the, the, the um, sports change and the student athletes change, but one thing is always the same, Richard is always there. <laughs> he has a hand in virtually every aspect of day-to-day -day athletics administration, and it's clear from his nomination that he has become an indispensable resource and role model to those around him. Always the first one in and the last one to leave, Richard holds himself to the highest standards with outstanding attention to detail and an unparalleled work ethic that inspires others to follow his lead. What's more, he never backs down from a challenge. Instead, he rolls up his sleeves, he asks how he can help and thinks outside the box to arrive at workable solutions to the issues at hand while encouraging others to do the same. Indeed, his collaborative nature, resourcefulness, and dedication to keeping the athletic ship running smoothly, even in tumultuous times, are just a few of the many attributes that set Richard apart. Perhaps his colleague summed it up best in his nomination when she said, and I quote, I have seen Richard step into myriad new responsibilities in the last two years as the athletics department weathered storms above and beyond the pandemic related issues that arose. When staff feel overworked, they never are as positive or work as many long hours as Richard does. And I think that speaks volumes about his leadership style. For the past 13 years, Richard has approached his work with a can-do attitude and a commitment to excellence that makes Dartmouth proud. And he's done it while treating students and colleagues as family all the while. With so much spotlight on a, in athletics being on our student athletes, it can be easy to overlook the work going on behind the scenes that enables them to shine. Not at Dartmouth and not today. On behalf of the entire Dartmouth community, it is my great pleasure to invite Richard into the spotlight now to accept the recognition he so richly deserves. Please join me in giving a rouse for this year's Sheila Colbert Distinguished Employee Service Award winner, Richard Whitmore. So once again, let me congratulate all of this year's award winners and outstanding nominees. And if you'd like to get your pictures taken, I'll meet you over by the banner in the back of the room, off that way. And to everyone in attendance, I encourage you to join me in our honorees for a reception right here in the ballroom right now. Thanks again <laughs> for coming and celebrate your colleagues with us. Thank you.